you know, it, there, there are some benefits there. But, you know, I love my son. We, we had a great visit on on Sunday, and he sat there in my lap and watched – Watch Bluey. I mean, it, it really is. It really is like a Faustian bargain. It, it, it's like Dick Masterson. Is that really you, brother? Colin, nigga, Colin. If that's you, Colin, I'll start it right now. If that, if that's you, Colin, and I, you know what? He's one. <laughs> he's one of the people who told me that from the start, and so did Mark call it. He's like, you can never win. He said, you can never win against this. And just, you know what? Right. And I won't say everything, single thing, but like save memories, build a trust fund, um, do cool things for your son, but you're never going to win on something like this. And, you know, and my uncle told me the same thing. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I will. Because I'm a fucking stubborn son of a bitch. I mean, I think Dick knows that about me. Uh, I, I, I do believe he knows that about me. I don't know. It, it's fucked up. Lady, ladies in the chat, it's fucked up. Is that really Dick Masterson, though? That's You know what? Text me, nigga. Okay, text me. If that's you, text me. Text me. I think it's him. Yeah, it's me. What are you doing? Uh, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. Let's turn this shit off. Let's turn this shit off. We don't need to waste any more time. Okay. Uh, and first off, let me put out the ad because that's what a good shiller would do uh, is, is put out the ad that you're here now. Yeah. Did you see the offer? Yeah, uh, yeah I saw it. I saw a screen cap of it. Somebody sent. It's uh, you're out of your son's life. You can hear me, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign over all parental rights. Yes. Uh, Face yes. getting married to a guy he's gonna be the new dad and you you yeah. never have to pay child support or else Vickers <laughs> is gonna keep like gay laws I, I you save until you're dead, right? a little less than a quarter of a million dollars yeah um, um you know what i think you could get some more money out of him i think if he threw in at like 50 grand uh <laughs> <laughs> to make it worth your while. I think well, you know what? I've spent that much like money that. on my. You know, I thought about that actually, and I was like, you know, I spent a lot of money on lawyers. Uh, maybe you could toss me about twenty grand. Uh, but you know, he's uh, without discussing personal, you know, yeah, uh, negotiations. I, I think he seems to think he's he's doing me a favor. Uh, but I don't oh, know if yeah. you know this, Dick. But um, you know, I know a lot of people. And uh, yeah, I, I, I've, re <laughs> I've reached out to a few people. A lot of people think I should fight this. Now I know you're not one of those people, but <laughs> no, <not>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Okay, well, tell me, you know what? Let's have a debate because. I can hear my mom. I know Beta, Jesse Lee Peterson. Your mom's talking to you in your head. Okay, I can hear my mom saying, "Never give up on on your son, on your flesh and blood." Uh, oh yeah, you son. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so what's your retort to that? Uh. Just like quit, fuck it. <laughs> what do you want? Going to be like flying around for the rest of your life, dude? It's a long dealing man. with these motherfuckers. Like for what? For a couple visitations a month while you're trying to work on your own shit and your family. Fuck. Who the fuck wants to deal with a hostile, like a hostile? Uh, 
I don't know, a hostile mom, like a hostile. Well, that's uh, the thing. It's like situation. you know, without it's it's, it. it's just so hostile. Like there's almost no benefit to it whatsoever. Um, I, I, I wonder what the audience thinks. Can we get can we get a poll of the audience? Because I because I. I, I knew this had been um, proffered yesterday, and yeah. I and I didn't go fully into it. Um, yeah, and you know, full. This is not a, this is not a lie. Never mind. I won't say that. <laughs> I was about to tell the tale of uh, summer twenty twenty, but maybe I shouldn't tell that. Uh, <laughs> um, this is all public record he made an offer now what do you think see some people say fight okay press f for fight it press r for run because i'm i'm honestly kind of torn um and i yeah. and i talked to several people but it, it's like i don't know um you know, yeah. it's 16 years of your child's life. I know you don't give a fuck. <laughs> but, like, you know, kids turn like, you remember that smiley guy that was sending his dick to Ali Alexander at 15? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Kids turn 15 and they kind of do whatever they want. Like, you can't stop them. So your son's going to like, your son's going to turn 13 or whatever and say, Oh, you know what? I'm going to like, I'm going to go check out this guy, Ralph, that you guys have been keeping from me for like, just out of spite because of this, like well, that old geezer, this Disney geezer has been like keeping me from seeing my real fucking dad. And uh, it's I'm all on record up. too. I'm gonna get Snapchat. Yeah. What's that? I was, I was going to say, it's all on record, dude. Like, I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. Like all all this, sh <laughs> yeah. I I, I don't know. Um, I, I guess I still have a certain amount of time, but like the way it was offered on Twitter, it's like forty eight hours. Nigga, my lawyer has to look at this. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Like, what what kind of fucking uh, <laughs> push sales tactics is this? Like, my lawyer needs to look at this document, nigga. I'm not trying to get railroaded. What are you doing? Like. You gotta, you gotta pay for expediency. You gotta get, throw twenty grand on it so I can get my uh, lawyer on the phone right now. You know. Yeah. You what the pay fuck? For speedy service. Because he sleeps. Uh, never mind. I shouldn't say what I was gonna say. But uh, <laughs> I don't want another case. Uh, wh what's going on with uh, Luke Cage and stealing money from charities? Oh. Okay. Who's that? Are you talking about Eric July? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to call him Luke Cage for now. <laughs> these, uh, these, like, e-celebrities, uh, they play real fast and loose with charities, I found. We're doing a box. Did you see the iDubs boxing thing for charity? Yeah, dude, like, he oh, lost. Yeah, well, dude, wait, he made all. Money. Wait, wait, wait. Did you see all the money that he made back yesterday? Yeah. Like dressing, uh, doing makeup and stuff. Yeah, he put on the dress. Oh, man, come on, dude. You <laughs> know what? It had to be really here. bad. It want... had to be really bad with Mr. Vickers and my son for me to come on here and put on the dress. And you know what? I bet I would make more money putting on the dress, to be quiet. You know, I hate to be so vain. Yeah. But I think I would make more money putting on the dress, my form-fitting dress. Uh, but uh, just what no. in the world? You look like my Mexican grandma. Ah, Abuelita. <laughs> Abuela. Abuelita. Uh, what the fuck does that even mean? Anyway, go ahead. At least they're, they're just going to keep chiseling you down until you're like broken and dead. So and what do you think? So, so there's an out, there's an out to that. Just like you're saying, take it. Yeah, of course. You think it's, I mean, fighting it is going to be, you're going to be a wreck for your son for 16 years and you'll be that much broker and that much more stressed out and fucked over and fucked up. Just a horrible way to horrible way for a kid to well, learn you know, about that's, his dad. I think that is actually my natural. Um, I don't know. I want to think that way, but then I hear like, man, it's just complete. It's just complete capitulation. Um, yeah. Go ahead, Super Chat. 
Grugman sent $3. At some point it might be in your son's interest to end it. If they just want to fight forever, he doesn't really benefit. There isn't much justice yeah. for fathers in this country. What do you think about that, Dick? Because you talk about it often. By the way, where the fuck <laughs> did my camera just completely disappear? Hold on. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, it's because I turned on Telegram. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? My camera. Uh, see, a lot of times when I'm doing this stream, I'm actually just watching off air and, you know, you know what I mean, listening off air and not mm -hmm. and not figuring out what's going on. So let's see. Go ahead. Anonymous sent five dollars. You can't let that faggot win. What, well, you know what? It takes it takes twenty thousand dollars a year. Don't send ten dollars. My descent unsolicited is that he can't be trusted. Making deals with no good faith or mutual trust is risky. A sense a likely flip flop if you accept. Won't be as clean a break as they make it sound. Well, um, you know, I, I, and by the way, I'm turning this light on so my green screen looks a little bit better. Yeah. Um. Uh, until I dropped it. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, that happened. Okay, there we go. Um, but, I mean, you know, I there would, it would be a pretty substantial, I, I don't want to get into details because that's not appropriate, but, um, it would, it would cover, cover basically the whole period, um, <sighs> of this last three or four years. So uh, now it wouldn't cover anything in the future. Um, but I really wouldn't expect to have <laughs> too much more to say in the future. <laughs> uh, if that happened. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, thoughts on that, by the way, I'm trying to, uh, pull this up here. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, the uh, the isom. <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, guys selling uh, guys selling half price charity comics, and then giving the giving the comics to a charity. That's not really charity, in my opinion. If why, you want to raise money why, for charity, you, why, you give money to charity. Well, and send the send your stupid comic to charity too. And write well, it off. why wouldn't he just give them money? That's what I yeah. don't really understand. Uh, because they need money more than comics. Because then they have to sell the comic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know yeah, I mean? After I was bullying him for a week, he gave him eight thousand dollars. But like, that's not that's not enough. You don't. You don't get to take a cut out of charity to pay yourself and your employees. Like that's not the, that's not acceptable in my view of charity. I'm surprised it is acceptable in so many other people's. Let's see. All right, let's see. I'm just reading just crazy messages during <laughs> like you wouldn't even believe. I, I wish I, I wish I wish to God I could read these on air. You you would not even Okay. Um oh, no. <laughs> When's the forty eight hours up? Um at like I mean like ten PM Pacific. So oh like eleven maybe something like that. What's your vote? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's clearly in the best interests interests of a child. A giant public countdown ultimatum to be well, on I, your son's you know, life it has like, occurred okay, to bro. me that a lawyer might have a field day with something like that. But uh, um, but I, you know, I don't know. Or Lucy sent three dollars. You could randomly die. The time in between fighting may be all your son gets with you if the unthinkable happens. Well, also the the part of it is that my, my son wouldn't be entitled to any of my inheritance uh, or like um, property, etc. Huh. Um, so that would also be part of it, um, you know. So, I mean, what do you? You mean? could will him in. I'm pretty sure you could will things to, I, to I, people. Yeah, I could will him in. No. Yeah. But I mean, his last name's Vickers. Would I really want to do that? Probably not. To be honest. 
It's gonna be what? Who's the other guy? I mean, That's look, Dick. Be. Let's be honest. But you, you know what? You want, you just want to be honest. You want to be honest here on the kill stream. His last name Vickers. You think I'm gonna will him into that? I don't think so. <laughs> do, 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 am, am I full? Am I full on soap opera villain? Okay, maybe I would. Other than that, no. Uh, sorry, I won't be doing that. Uh, you know, my daughter's name will be Ralph for a little while. Maybe. Who knows? Fuck. Who knows? Fuck having kids, honestly. You're Anonymous right. sent $5. You only have one firstborn son. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? You can keep trying. It's, you know, don't get me started, you idiot. Yes, you're right. You do only have one firstborn son. But the beauty of being a virile male is I can have 50 sons. I had a... I. I shouldn't say this on air, but I mean, within literally two days of the birth control going, daughter, uh, you know, I just look at a bitch. I just take off my sunglasses and look at a bitch and she gets pregnant. Like that's, that's how it works. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not concerned about that in the least. Uh, and I still love my firstborn son. It's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. Um, you know, the things that are taking place, honestly. So, I mean, I sit here and joke about them, but, like, yeah, it is fucked up. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Dick, it is fucked up. Yeah, like, like you know what I mean? Like, it's <laughs> fucked up. Like, I yeah. I could sit here and cry about it. I mean, you know, but I'm not going to do that. You know, you just have to deal with it. It is fucked up. Um, You know, I have to think about things like, you know, lawsuits and all this and putting property in my daughter's name versus my son's name and all this like it's just it's just silly honestly at this point it's three years on like that's my view that's my opinion i'm not talking shit about anybody i just think it's dumb dude um and i know yeah, this it's is dumb. yeah it's dumb it's dumb like uh, like they're they're related like what is even going on i don't know uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what's to um, to transpire. I will. I will say I have all kinds of text messages now, um, and you know I, I I could fight this out in California. Wait, what is this? This is long. Um, no, that's not. Eric July belongs in prison. <laughs> it's hard to figure out if you want to fight it when uh, at least part of you just doesn't, doesn't want to lose. Right? A true Ralph Amali sent $3. Jesse Lee Peterson would not call you a beta. He always encourages men in your situation to walk away. Well, because what else can you yeah. do, Dick? Are you right, man? Are you motherfuckers well, actually going to... Gonna... Lotax? You want to end up like Lotax? No! Everything, every step of the way, and he's fucking dead. So that's what that's what could happen. That's that Lotax that goes to Christmas fucking future. You can fight these cunts in court, cunts that are empowered by their fucking crazy, narcissist BPD dads who... Have a huh, many healthy, such cases, Dick. Many such cases of this, uh, and you'll end up dead because the girl fucks you over in court and the guy fucks you over in court. Like, it's just like this endless stream of No, and shit. they do it together. Like, it's uh, no no uh, people in particular, of course, but they work. Yeah, it's yeah. Mr. Inside and it's Mr. Outside. And so they yeah. get away with it because of that. Goop, send $5. Why do you think he is offering you this deal? Why make it public? Smells fishy. We'll see how it plays out. Well, you right know. Right after that, getting served at the visitation center bullshit. But yeah, he said he was going to... Well, this is public record. He said he was going to serve me at the intervention. Or not the intervention. <laughs> I've already had one of those personally. But he said he was going to serve me at the visitation. And then, you know, without revealing too much, they told me directly that would not happen. And, I mean, uh, man, this is not raising a kid. Like, this is being estranged from a kid by a, a, a group of uh, kidnapping psychopaths. So whatever you think you want to fight for, you're not going to get it. You'll yeah. never be able to raise your son the way you should be able well, to in, plus in this it's situation. Like, dude, do you think he's not going to find out ever? Like, what What do you even – I don't know, man. It, it's mind-boggling to me, dude. Like – 
Of course he's going to know. It's the fucking internet. It's only going to get more interconnected. Like, I don't know. It, it is no. really bizarre. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. I think you're right. No kids is the answer. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm starting to really come around. I thought I was doing the right thing. I, I, growing up, I always wanted kids, Dick. I, I was just like, yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. People grow I percent five dollars. The kids will always remember that it wasn't you who won't let them see their dad. It's them. Yeah, you. but I might be I dead by then, right. nigga. You just gotta walk away and leave it up to God. <laughs> God bless Ralph. What the fuck? That's eighteen years. Do I have eighteen years left in me? I mean, let's be real. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah, they will. They'll look back on me fondly, but I'll be dead as a fucking doornail. Do you understand? Like, oh, wow, Dad sure really wanted to see us. Oh, let's go have our eggs Benedict. They don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, like what the fuck? Like, they care, but it's like, oh, it's over. He's gone. Listen to me. This is the truest. Listen. This is the truest thing you'll ever hear me say on this show. When you're out of sight, you're out of mind. And when I went to jail, I was out of sight. Nobody gave a fuck about you in jail except your mama and my ex-wife, who's a cunt. And you know what? She did do her wifely duties in jail, but who knows what else. You know, people live their life. It's like being on a foreign planet. That's all that fucking matters. And... and <laughs> I don't even know how that rant started, Dick, but whatever. I think you could live for longer than 18 years at this point. Do you, you might think? Have to make some changes, but yeah, I think you could. I don't think so. I think, so. I think I'm dead. You. No, I'm dead within tick. I'm 10. No, 10. <laughs> I think I think I have one good good decade left. Maybe past 50, <clears throat> maybe like 52. Oh, okay. I'm thinking 52. I mean, Nikki, you're jacked. What the fuck are you talking about? You're working out and shit. Like you could get on, uh, get on uh, HGH. <laughs> yeah, I should. They're cheap. Jacuzzi like, sent three dollars. The harder they try to RFK. push you away, the more your son will want to know who you are slash were. Focusing on your health and wealth is in your control. It's a way to win. Jacuzzi, do you think I should take it? Yes or no? In the chat. And they said they were gonna they were gonna talk about it on air anyway. So it's like I'm not breaking. <laughs> It's like, okay, you said you were going to talk about it on air. I want to see what my fans think. Yeah. Um, and Dick Masterson, God bless. I don't think you could win this one. They got the ball. Well, you know, a certain Wang Lin offered me his free speech lawyer. Uh <laughs> But uh, I don't know if that, uh, he's like fifteen million in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay, you know what? Uh, what do you got coming up on the Dick Show this weekend? Uh, shit. I don't know. I gotta uh, just to take from the never... peanut. Oh wait. Uh, I think with one sec. One sec. One sense. sec. And you have another family that would benefit from ending this nightmare. Horrible situation, frown. Yeah, it's horrible, man. Um, I'll figure it out. Go ahead, Dick. Um, we're doing Vito's weigh in this week. You know that fat fuck. Do you know, that, you know that I weighed two hundred and twenty five pounds and I weighed in this morning? Oh, you I, do? I bet. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I bet I hit one seventy five before Vito hits. Two fifty three, <laughs> like like yeah, probably. like like this dude's not taking it serious at all, dude. This is a joke. I've been watching this, and it's like, yeah. man, look, if you're gonna put yourself up for a public spectacle, which I have many times, you know what? At least lose the weight. I literally, I was I was two o two point four kilograms because I'm in fucking Mexico today, uh, and do you know what that is that. Uh, no, not pounds, nigga. Kilograms. Uh, let's see. I want to. I want to make sure I get it right. I don't want to. I don't want any fudging here. Uh, no, no. One o two. God damn it. Excuse me. No, I wasn't that fat. Holy fuck. One o two point four kg to pounds. 
That's 122.5.7, which was the exact weight I had before I went to Las Vegas and ate delicious steaks. So um, we'll see, man. He's got a ways to catch up. Yeah, he's got a ways to catch up. You know what? Let's have the contest for the N64. If he gets if he gets What's within that? if he gets within thirty pounds of me, then then I'll buy him a classic game. If not, he owes me the N sixty four. Okay, I'll tell him. Tell him, tell him, and see if he's. I'm, of course, it's a friendly bet, but like, tell him if he gets even within thirty pounds of me, I'll buy him something not like a three thousand dollar game or some shit, but something you know yeah, neat. Yeah. And if not, he nah, nah, some bullshit. But if he gets within thirty pounds of me, I'll buy him. I'll 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 buy him a game, and then he can buy me the N sixty four, which is way cheaper, by the way. uh, If I beat him, I'll tell him. You were looking skinny at Chichen Itza. Yeah, I'm skinny. Well, not quite. I got about fifty fifty pounds to lose. You know, I remember I was uh, on your show one time, and I was drinking. I had an 80s girl go get Cokes because I refused to drink Diet Coke because it tastes like shit. And <laughs> she said, here's your Cokes. Here's your Cokes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then Dick, <laughs> Dick goes, you know what, motherfucker? Maybe you should start drinking a Diet Coke every once in a while. We want to see you around a little bit longer, you fat fuck. He didn't say fat fuck, but I knew what he meant. (laughs) Uh, Have a good Thursday, brother. I appreciate you calling in, man. Yeah, you too. Good luck with all this. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yep. (laughs) He didn't actually say fat fuck, but uh, I could hear it in my head. Perspic. Perspic, what do you want, man? Are you here? Maybe. You got to unmute. Man, you don't even. Ralphie, can yeah. you hear me? Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, I can. I'm going to, you know, I'm calling and saying, Ralphie, don't let these people break your spirit. By the way, I want to say this, that um, I just at the start, um, the callers speak for themselves. I've said what I've said publicly, and because it's been a public offer, and so yes. I, I don't feel like I'm speaking out of turn whatsoever. Um, but callers and the words of the callers represent their own and not mine. <laughs> I just want to be careful well, because man, you, here, man, you know how it names. goes, dude. I just ha- I just have to be that way. So it it is what it is. Go ahead. Don't let these people break your spirit, Ralph. You have the right to see your son. You have the right to be in that child's life. The person who is trying to intimidate you has no rights over this child, like zero. Zero rights. As far as I know, there is no state in the union that uh, respects grandparents' rights over it. Well, also, there's been some coordination, allegedly, too, but I won't go into that. Go ahead. Uh, And I think it's fucked up what they're doing. And I think you should stay righteous. And let the courts handle it because the courts, if you stay calm, Ralph, I promise you, if you stay calm and you just, you, you know, Ralph, you've been put in the hospital. You've, you've had people laugh at you when you were in the hospital and you were swinging, right? And people respected you. For well, that. I wasn't, you had, I wasn't swinging. Uh, that, that's, a you were swinging uh, verbally. Yeah. <laughs> on Twitter. True. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to be clear. Purse McCasty, we know, you know, I'll <laughs> check we know. Look, I don't. I don't want to get it confused. I wasn't swinging, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Not that kind of swing. I mean, yes, you know, you yes. were fighting. Yeah, you were. A, you're a champion, Ralph. You never let anything get you down. You took a picture right in that hospital bed, and you said, "Fuck you," right? Then you got attacked on the streets of Lisbon. And you said, "Fuck you," and that was perpetrated, perhaps, by uh, similar people that are an active party in this this newest deal. And now, you know, I hate to see you down because there's no reason for you to be down. I think your fight is righteous. I think you will succeed. I think the judge and uh, 
you know, the officials that are involved with this are going to see what's going on. I mean, it's kind of clear as day at this point. Uh, that was a, that's basically criminal extortion. Uh, it's basically illegal to do a service at a, you know, a neutral ground of a, of a, of a visitation center. It's illegal, which he quickly found out. And, you know, I did quickly find that out. Uh, and uh, it, there was no, um, no caveat there. There was no caveat. And I don't think there'll be a caveat with anybody. I think he's on the ropes and he's trying to pull out every stop to try to get you to concede. It's all bullshit. It's all crazy. Stay strong, Ralph. Everybody sees it for what it is. Even the fucking people who hate you see it for what it is. It's a desperate, desperate boomer who wants relevance and some kind of career. And, uh, you know, doesn't care who he has to bring down his own children, his own grandchildren. He doesn't care, but that will eventually be apparent to everybody around. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I appreciate what you're saying. Um, it, it's, um, a, it, 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 I wouldn't, I would be lying if I said it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a, um, insane situation to go through. Um, um, and you know, I guess, you know, I still have some time on the clock. We'll see. Um, but, uh, just, just ridiculous. Um, I don't know if people know this, but it cost me $20,000 a year to go see my son. And, um, that's more than cog makes in three years. So, <laughs> yeah, we're serious. So, you know what I mean? Like, the whole idea that I don't do anything to see my son is complete garbage. Matter of fact, I've sacrificed uh, a lot to do so. And uh, Yeah, and certain parties have lied and said that you haven't paid it or this or that. That's not true. And it's been completely paid the whole time. You can see it right in the document. It's right there. It's been completely paid. Yeah. Yes, it's right there. Public record. I paid it. I've never... I don't want to get so into it too much. Um, you know, part of me is, though, like, well, it's just a negative thing in my life that I can get rid of. And, uh, you know, that's not my son. My son is an amazing light of positivity. But Yeah. Um, well, the other thing is, do you really think they'll stop? Well, that's what I mean, said. Yeah. Th they'll never stop. They want to be on Dr. Phil. They want to be on Jerry Springer. But they, they want turned to be... them down for that. They never even got on that. Yeah, I know. They're desperate, though. They want They want to do it. They think, you know, tomorrow's my big shot. You know, a lot of people, you know, your daughter gets caught with a sex tape, let's say, just hypothetically. Hypothetically. A lot of people would, hypothetically, yeah. And, uh, you know, a sex tape is released. Hypothetically, you know, I would do everything in my power to make sure nobody saw it. That tape. I would pay people I to delete it from did, the internet. I did, by the way. People don't know this, but I contacted Pornhub uh, over a dozen times to get that tape taken down. So that's public record. Well, somebody was archiving it and saving it to their computer and openly admits to this. Well, you can't stop so, it forever, but I did a lot to get that taken down, but whatever. Yeah. Well, other people... Let's say, you know, it's your daughter and you're making blog posts about it and telling everybody that you talk to about it. You know, that's called the spreading of it. So I don't yes. know who's really more guilty. You know what I mean? It's just like insane. Well, you know, Everybody that's kind about. of arguable that that's actually dissemination of, of, of the same thing because, you know, he's telling people where to find it, et cetera. Stimulant Kruipers sent $3 Vickers yeah. private so I can't see the tweet. What are the specifics of the offer? Um, I mean, I can read it out. I read it out yesterday. She gets married. You sign off rights and allow stepdad to adopt. Your responsibilities go away. No more child support, which, as we know, would be over $10,000 a year. Um, and it costs double that to go see him. But a lawsuit gets dropped, which, I mean... I don't think too much of that. It's a bullshit way. lawsuit, though, Ralph. Yeah. It's a complete bullshit. Well, that's what I think. But contempt <laughs> matters <laughs> gets dropped. Existing <laughs> orders existing orders don't get renewed on expiration. You get out of our lives forever. This is what the entirety of Team V wants. 
take it or leave it because I haven't even broken a sweat 48 hours to decide. And who is he to make this demand though? He has no bearing on anything. It's crazy, Ralph. This is crazy. This is a guy, it's not his child. He has no rights to make any agreements well, with well, anybody. Well, I mean, you know, it could be speculated that. Um, yeah, he's that working he as an agent for child. another party. I well, get all that. Yeah, of course but he, he is. still has no right. She can put that out if she wants to make that demand. He has no rights to make any of these demands or offer this deal or anything. It doesn't exist. Well, you know, I, no I said there was no that. lawyer. I was like, well, I yeah, mean, well, there's this, no lawyer because be... he's blown. You know, you're you're blowing a lot of money, Ralph, but he's blowing three, four times your money. He's putting the family in the poorhouse. He's cashing out college loans. I mean, they're going to be in the poorhouse. They can't keep this up forever. So, yeah, the first thing I said was, well, I don't see any agreement. Um, also, fucked up my browser here. Hold on. It'll take a second. I was like, I don't see an agreement. Um, and uh, and we'll see in chat. By the way, we are 9% of the way there on the Super Show Fund. Uh, we'll see if we hit it. This is basically going towards legal funds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So it is a little bit. <laughs> A little bit higher, uh, man. Th- yeah, help Ralph out. Help Ralph out. <laughs> this one. Yeah, this is. This I is- think that I personally think Ralph that people are in the courts are going to start to see through a lot of this bullshit. You know, you need to be even to even. I think the judge should just yank the order. These are not people that are afraid for their life or safety. Wow. It's crazy. Well, I see people in chat, and they say, "Ralph, you should fight this." And it's like, "Well, I know, I know you've been, you know, I know they've been grinding you down, Ralph." But you know, keep strong. I swear, I swear that people will start to see. Even the people who were, were like supporting Vickers and like lunatic trannies online, you know, are starting to say, "Like, wow, this is so over the line." It's become. You know, it's almost like farcical. It's like a super villain from a James Bond movie. He wants to LARP as like this, this fantastical character. It's like, dude, you have five kids yourself. Just chill out. Everybody needs to chill out. Okay. You got five kids to support yourself. You're blowing your life savings on this vendetta that's destroying your own life as well as Ralph. And it's like, what, what is the need for this? Just let Ralph see his child. What's the big deal? Well, they don't. Man, look speculating they don't want that to happen so um you know it is what it is i guess i'll make my decision um you know go ahead anonymous sent five dollars what happened last time you went to court it was case dismissed nigger well that was time before last but yeah (laughs) uh but yeah it was uh you know i have some questions about uh damages being proven defamation is a really high jarbo sent three dollars take the deal let your son have a father thank you jarbo i appreciate you chiming in uh Group, send $5. What if this offer is just paid to establish that you don't want to see your son that badly, and they see you anyway? I doubt they are ready to drop you. They're only obsession in life. Well, I mean, um, yeah, that's possible, but I, I really don't see how um, that could necessarily come into effect. Uh, it's It's like one of the most excruciating decisions you could possibly imagine, really. Um, so like, I don't know. Well, I feel for you, brother, but I'm telling you fight the good fight. And I think that you'll, you'll, you know, it's not going to be easy. It's never easy. Right. But you know, what are, what's the alternative? The alternative isn't any better. You know what I mean? And it's not a decision that you could take back. No, you can't take it back because once you, yeah, you can't. There's no taking it back because uh, once you sign over your parental rights, it's over. Um, Jacuzzi says, uh, so and so only made the offer after your commitment to sobriety. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that crossed my mind a little bit for sure. But well, uh, it's clear they're desperate, right? It's a clear but they also know that it's like I'm gonna have to spend on all this other bullshit. They're talking about serving me. This is public record, by the way. This is not. They're talking about serving me outside the parent visitation center. With the which the parent visitation center said absolutely that's not allowed. Uh, no, in what country is that allowed? First of all, it's supposed to be a neutral third party, which it is not. And second, this is a completely neutral place. You're not allowed to serve papers to somebody. Can you imagine if every time a, a father or a parent of a child tried to see their son, they had to worry about being well, served the police, legal papers? They would even tell station? the police to wait out. Outside, I mean, unless there was an imminent threat of danger, you can't just, you know, or a warrant. You, you don't have to let the police into your building. I don't know if this is how no. people understand, but you have to have an imminent threat of danger or a warrant from a judge to come inside somebody's private property. Now, that's not to mean they can't sit out in the street. Yeah, they can. Yeah. But some people fundamentally misunderstand. And by the way, it's also petty. Like, I don't know. It, it's just... It's just ridiculous, honestly. I almost didn't do a show today because I, I didn't even feel like talking about this for like an hour. Um, but I say call it. I say call his bluff. He doesn't even want. He doesn't even have the money to pay for a lawyer, Ralph. The guy has bankrupted himself. And eventually, somebody's going to say no to him because how is he supporting a household if he's bankrupting himself on these frivolous lawsuits and paying for other people's expenses that are not going to name? I you know mean, what I mean? I, I mean, don't he's know. Got, he's he's bankrupting himself. It's like ridiculous. What like what? I don't understand what goes through a man of, of a you know a father of five's mind when you're bankrupting yourself, uh, for some frivolous bullshit that's not even going anywhere to prevent what from happening. It's all so petty. Just get a grip. He needs to get it's, a grip. It's literally. <laughs> Literally the most petty thing I've ever seen. Um, that's my opinion, of course, not uh, an insult. I've never seen anything. Lo- I've seen a lot of shit, Ralph. I've seen a lot of shit. I know you've seen a lot of shit. I've never seen anything like this before. Never. Never. Not one time. Never. Um, all right. I appreciate you calling in, man. All right. All right, Ralph. Take care of it. You too, man. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.